Lara Scolari is making a splash in the contemporary art scene, filling commissions for her unique paintings from her home studio in Sydney's Balmain. I have to have everything on hand so when I'm in that creative moment, it just, whatever I need, I can grab. So I have stuff everywhere. <laughs> it's a mask and then this creates another line. I'm very big on the line. Like I love the line has to have like feel. There was never any doubt that Lara would pursue a career in art. My dad was an industrial chemist for an artist paint company called Matisse Derivan and my mum was an artist. We just had paint around us all the time. But while she's been painting her whole life, it's only in the last five years that the former arts administrator has taken up her brushes full time, shifting what was a part-time passion to a business. I went from what they call the Artist in Residence or Artist in Residency programs. I was lucky enough to win that and move to Sydney and just fell in love with it. Lara set up a small gallery in Balmain and it was a passerby who sparked a turning point for her business. This lady was walking past. She said, oh, my interior designer's coming over this afternoon. Can I, can I show him? But her interior designer was Greg Natale. And from that, I worked with him a couple of times and that sort of opened this door. Patricia. Hello. How are you <laughs> Working with these um, with interior designers has been wonderful. We have got obviously sales on Lavender Bay, which was fabulous. And then I've done Taylor's Dining at the Republic Hotel in the city CBD. And just last week the Marina Mirage at the Wood Sundays. So that's very exciting. For me all we took was one look. I had the one look at her paintings and that was it. I was hooked. I think her paintings uh, really bring out the happiness and the energy that she has. And uh, you just take one look and you feel uh, happier. Uh, you feel that the day is brighter. The actual creation time is about eight weeks. Sometimes there's up to 40 layers in each of my artworks. Yeah, so to get this beautiful transparent depth, I have to let um, every layer of the medium um, dry completely. But Lara says she does face challenges with the number side of the business. Because all I want to do is be in the studio. But I have to be a businesswoman too. Even though it, the art making is a business, I would rather just you know, do what I do and be in my studio covered in paint. Lara is now focused on increasing collaborations with other creatives, with some of her work soon to feature in a rug collection. The next 12 months for me is just going to be amazing. I've been doing um, obviously gym gear or tights or clothing, textiles. But for Lara, her biggest achievement is being able to do what she loves every day. The core of it is not even really about making money. Don't tell my husband or the, anyone that. But the core of it is me just expressing myself. And when people like it and people, you know, want to pay me for what I create, it's just a bonus, truly. Yeah.